In this video, I'm going to show you how to use focus sessions on Windows 11. So if you haven't heard about focus sessions, it's basically a new feature which has been added to the Clocks app and this is made to help you work better when you're using a laptop. So it has timers and then they set breaks automatically in between. After that, you can link it with Microsoft To Do so you can get all of your tasks over here. And this is also linked with Spotify so you can listen to music whilst you're working. So if you feel that you waste a lot of time on your laptop and you can't get work done quickly, then you should definitely check this out. So let's get started. First, you'll just have to open the clock app. So click on start and then just search for clock. And now on the left, you'll find all of the different pages and you'll find a new one on top, which is called focus sessions. So just click on that. And over here, you have all of your controls. So I'll quickly show you around this page. So the first box over here is to decide for how long you want to have a focus session. So you can just increase it or decrease it like this. And below this, you can see they've shown that you'll have four breaks. And if you don't want them, you can just skip breaks. And based on how long the session is, they'll change the number of breaks. So if I decrease it, you can see that it's reduced from four to two. So this is how to set the length of a focus session. After that, as I said, you can link this with Microsoft To Do. So you'll just have to click on sign in at the bottom left and just sign in with your To Do account. And as you can see, all of my tasks have come here. And if I want to add another task, I can click on the plus icon over here and then just type in the task I want to add. Then this is also linked with Spotify. So as you can see, they've given some focus music suggestions. And if you want your own playlists, you can just go back. And as you can see, I've reached my playlists and my recent songs. So again, it's really convenient to get Spotify and To Do on this page. Now the last box is just a summary. So over here, you can set your daily goal to focus. Then you can see for the previous day, how long you focused. So if you want to edit your daily goal, just click on this edit button over here. So I can select, let's say three hours. And then I can set a time at which it will clear all the daily progress and tasks. And then just click on save. After this, there's one last thing which you need to know, and that's settings. So you can just click on settings, which is at the bottom left over here. And over here, you can make some changes. So if you just click on focus periods, then in the first option, you can decide for how long you want to focus. So they have an option which is automatic, or else you can select one of these options over here. Then you can also select how long you'll want the break to be. So currently it's five minutes, but again, you can change it to 10 or 15. Then you can decide if you want an alarm when your focus period ends or when your break ends. So you can switch that on or off from here. And after this, the last two options are related to Spotify and To Do. So if you want to remove them from your dashboard, you can just switch them off like this. So that's it for today. And if you want to know how to use TickTick, which is my favorite productivity app, you can just click on this video over here. Goodbye.